I embrace telling you guys all of my dirty secrets and all my little kinks on the internet. So I think she would try to experiment on you and try to put stuff um, in your butt. She's barely 18, which just feels weird. I think at this point, cringe is kind of a brand and I embrace it. I embrace telling you guys all of my dirty secrets and all my little kinks on the internet. So you requested this ass. Tons of you now are asking me to do a bunch of boyfriend ability, girlfriend ability, dating videos. So I deliver because I like to please. I aim to please. So let me know if you guys want to see any other ranking tier list of boyfriend ability, girlfriend ability of any game or thing next because I love you. Mwah. So last time we did boyfriend ability. He also, just how am I forgetting this? This motherfucker doesn't fucking shower. He doesn't shower. He smells like shit. Personally, I have a sensitive nose. I could smell him from a mile away. Is that a problem for me? Yes. N no, I, I think I would stand it. This time we're doing girlfriend ability. We are ranking Overwatch baddies today by who would be the best girlfriend. So just prepare yourselves because some of you guys might get a little bit mad at me. You guys might get a little, a little kooky, a little crazy because I'm about to tear your motherfucking dreams to shred. Before we start, some of these characters are LGBT, but I'm ranking girlfriend ability. So if you like ladies, then this video is for you. We are gonna talk about all the ladies starting now. Ilari. She's barely 18, which just feels weird. Cause when I think 18, everybody's like, oh yeah, it's legal, it's legal. I'm like, bruh, there's high schoolers that are 18. So cut the shit. Ilari on D because she is small and it would just feel weird for me to rank her anywhere. Widowmaker. Amelie is a... She's a fine, fine woman. Before we attack each other and tear ourselves to shreds like a pack of maniacs, let's just open the sack first and see what's actually in it. It might not even be worth the trouble. Okay, it's worth it. But she would not be a good girlfriend. I feel like if you ever try to ask her out on a date, she would step on you, spit on you, and tell you that you're worth absolutely nothing, nada, zero, zip. How dare you for even looking in her direction? She's just always giving me that vibe. She's a hard ass, she's rude, she's French, she's stoic, and she's just a fucking apple in general. And it's not her fault, but she wouldn't be very forgiving. I mean, need I say more? I don't think she'd be a good girlfriend. So Widowmaker goes on D because she, I think she would just be mean. Like she's just mean person. She would just be rude. Hell no. Moira. Evil ladies just do it for me. They just do. Before you judge me, please, 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 please just reconsider. Um, hear me out, okay? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Like I said, into the sick and mentally insane. So let's add sadistic onto that list. I just think she's peachy keen. I think she's great. She gives me Cassandra Nova vibes from the new Deadpool movie as well. And, and I wanted so badly for that woman to put her fingers into my skull. I would let Moira do that. I see that connection. I could see the same type of character archetype. I don't know. There was just something about this MILF that made me go fucking earth, earth. She is not playing around. Moira does not play around. And I don't think she's mean for the sake of being mean. I think she's just more cutthroat. She's more driven, more focused into her work, even if her work is very morally questionable. But if you haven't already noticed, I'm into the whole crazy doctor thing. It's like, that's me with medic. Like, he'd be a terrible boyfriend. But if I found him cutting me open in the middle of the night, I'd be like, yes. I'm Although she's morally ambiguous, she's intelligent. And I think that in a relationship, Moira would be the kind to boss you around and manipulate you and gaslight you. I mean, gatekeep, girl boss, stick scalpels into my chest. Yeah, I would let it happen i would let all of it happen uh would she be a good girlfriend no i think she would try to experiment on you and try to put stuff um in your butt and i think i would let it happen not gonna lie <laughs> moira goes on d i wish i could rank her way higher than this but i can't i can't because 
Logically, this makes sense, but my heart, my heart is fighting me every step of the f***ing way, I swear. Orisa, we're not going to keep going here. Listen to me. Okay. Listen. Last time I put all the Omnics on low tiers, you guys were like, she's Omnicist. She's Omnicist. She's literally a f***ing centaur robot girl. I mean, y'all freaky motherfuckers would totally on that, but I'm just going to say here and now, the most fulfilling thing you're going to get out of her is a ride on her back. And that's saying something. Some of you guys are going to be nasty and disgusting and think, oh yeah, right on her back. Shut the f*** up. Even Hanzo wanted to ride into battle on top of her. I see you glancing at me. You wish to ride me into battle? I... What a preposterous thought. I'm like, just no, shut the f*** up. She'd be a good friend. Be friends with the big robot lady. Uh, D? But in front of Moira and the others because... She's nice. Echo, first. Echo is designed to learn and adapt to various situations and people. So I think she'd be interesting to chill with and kick it with, but that's it. She's also 14. Disgusting. Ash. Ash is literally fueled by spite. Yes, like, you heard me, she's all confidence and leadership, but it comes from a bad place. That means that she's just emotionally unavailable and she could be very volatile. So being with her would also mean being part of her dangerous gang. And there's just a lot of cons here. I think that she wouldn't trust you as easily as you think. She's very reserved in her personals and with her emotions, but um, smash. Yeah, like, holy sh I love her. I love sexy outlaw ladies. Sadie Adler was just like, peak she was peak so ash is peak too ash goes on c because she's also kind of a mean lady so c junker queen <coughs> mommy <clears throat> i mean mom i mean can we just establish that the buff overwatch ladies are peak creme de la creme top tier bro i would literally ask permission to look upon her I would. She could destroy me any day of the week and... Okay, this is just me and just my brain talking, but... Would she be good in a relationship? I just don't think Junker Queen is looking for a relationship. She doesn't seem like the type of woman that's in a relationship looking mood at this point in her life. I think that she is thriving off of her success and her status and that she will make you know it. So I think that she would be the kind to be like, hey, let's get down and... But not actually commit to anything because she's got options. She's got all the options in the world. Dude, I don't know, but Junker Queen is a fucking. Ow! <clears throat> Sorry. Junker Queen goes on C, and I know y'all are going to yell at me for this, but I just think she just doesn't want to be your girlfriend. And if she was your girlfriend, she'd be a pretty interesting one at that, you know? Sojourn. Sojourn isn't your typical upbeat lady from Overwatch. She's more reserved. She's more mindful. And may I say, she's more demure. She's the kind of girl that if you'll need her, she'll be there. I think she likes to be needed too. Despite her rocky relationship with Overwatch and with everything, I feel like she's just at peace. She's at Zen. She knows to fight for what's right. So she would be nice. She would be a nice friend, I think, more than anything else. She's a bit more serious than the others. Quiet, but not soft-spoken. And I don't really think that she would be looking for anything at all. I mean, she's got a dog. She's got a good life, a good place to stay. And that's all she needs. So I don't think she'd be very interested in a relationship with anybody. I mean, she's in that era in her life. That's the kind of aura she exudes. Sojourn goes on C because, I don't know, she just doesn't seem interested in any relationship either. Fada. Fariha is, she's just fine. I don't know how to explain it. She's just like, meh. Even her interactions are like, meh. Personality-wise, she's just like, meh. She's just drier than the others. Dating Fada would mean being with somebody loyal, strong, principled, but just kind of meh, you know? And I think that with this strong sense of being a soldier, she's a bit more emotionally guarded and she might have a sense of duty that will present challenges in terms of time together and true uwu connection. I don't know, she's just like, eh. Would she be a good girlfriend? Probably. It's kind of hard to say, right? It's kind of hard to say, so. Hey, we're putting Fada on B because like I said, it's just mid. Symmetra. That's my main girl. And before you unleash the dogs on me, be patient and nice, okay? I'm only human. I'm only a human with real skill and really good aim. So let's just start. 
Satya is very intelligent. She is very gentle. She's extremely creative. I believe she would be very fond of maintaining a balance in a relationship, balancing responsibilities, balancing interactions. But I fear that if you somewhat tip the balance with her, then she's bound to become more rigid with you. While her perfectionism can be a pro, it could also become overwhelming in a relationship setting. Things may become tense, especially if you're more laid back and chill. She's also just not very emotionally expressive and comes off more distant at times. This emotional distance can make it difficult to connect with her on a deeper level. I think that her very strong focus on structure and her work might make her inflexible or just controlling in certain situations. It would feel, I think she would be a good partner if you learn to work with her and be with her and understand her, especially when things are not going her way. I see her kind of like a Vulcan, like Spock, very logic based, but even Spock had a baddie. So I think that she would be a good relationship, but perhaps a very challenging one. We're putting Symmetra on B, but in front of Fada, because I think she would be open to it. I think she'd be interested and curious about being in a relationship. But like I said, there'd be issues. Actually, I'm changing my mind. I think she would go on C. Now I'm conflicted. I don't think she would be really interested in a relationship and there'd be more cons than pros with her. Anna. Anna is an older woman. And if you're into older women that have trauma and complexes, then you've come to the right place. This woman that's been through hell and back is not held back by these experiences. I think she's a very caring and loving person. She is a mother and that changes you. When you're a mother or you have a child, you often have more life experience than everybody else. Not because of age, but because of what you've had to deal with, with raising another person. I think she would be a very just caring and loving individual in a relationship. And I think that she's ready to settle down, you know, because of her age. Like she's not into playing around. She's a bit more slower paced and you know she's quick in battle like she's constantly fighting and everything but i think that when it comes to like being in a home with somebody you just gotta be a bit more chill dude when you're that age and you've already done everything seen everything like what are you looking for you're looking for love dude you're looking for love and companionship anna goes on b she would make you tea in the morning you can make her tea in the morning whatever you fancy i think she'd be good diva Hana Song. She's fun. She's energetic. She's charismatic. She's a pro gamer. She plays video games. Perfect girl, right? Gamer girl. Arcade dates. Mario Kart and chill. The possibilities are endless. She sounds like the whole package deal, right? Well, let me just shatter your dreams. They call me the dream killer. Diva has a bit of a kid spirit, which I see as her possibly not taking certain situations seriously. I can see her being a bit of an arrogant person if it ever came down to an argument. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? She's also toxic as fuck. Like e-girl, I think she would be a little toxic. She also rose to fame at a really early age and might still be learning how to handle serious relationships and personal responsibility. There could be many challenges relating to immaturity, lack of experience and personal matters. Like Lucio, she's also famous. So any relationship with her would come with a deal of public scrutiny or even pressure. There's also things to take into account, like her relationship with her fans. I mean, she's an esports gamer and a national hero. I would imagine her fans are diehard protective. Diehard enough to behave negatively if they ever found out about their beloved diva being in a relationship. So most likely the relationship would be kept under wraps, a secret. And if you're a person that prefers a more public kind of relationship, then this wouldn't work for you. I mean, imagine all of her simps freaking out the second they find out that she's in a relationship. I mean, there's a lot that's at stake for her and a lot of room for resentment to grow from your part, I think, with her. Some of you might not mind it, but I think it's important to note that if you're going to be in a relationship with any of these characters, we have to look at the whole person. So I think she could be a possibly good girlfriend, but would it be an ideal relationship? No, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, they're that's good. not food. Not because there's anything wrong with her per se, but it seems that any relationship with her would be just a little difficult. Next up is Diva, and I'm putting her on B. Don't yell at me. Am I gonna do Diva this dirty? Am I putting her on B? Yeah, B. B's a good one. Juno. 
I feel like when we barely meet a character like Juno, there's not much there to know about them. Yes, we get the bare bones and origins and her backstory, but that's about it, really. But what I encountered with her is that there's not a lot of content to make a really proper assessment of Juno. But let me try. So, I mean, Juno seems like a good girl. Would she be a good girlfriend? Yeah, probably. She seems like she's good and she seems like he's chill but I don't know much about her yet. Even her interactions are very bare bones and very limited, so maybe I'll come back to this in the future in a short or something. Next up, we got Juno. Yeah, I think she'd be great. So we're putting her on A. She'd be a good girlfriend. She would be nice to you. She would be sweet to you. Zarya. Zarya would take care of you. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I just know that she would take care of you. She would be the type to really be there for you. She has a strong, strong loyalty to her homeland from her really traumatic background. And that just means she would be by your side. She would protect you. I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like our big mommy, Jim Girly would love on you all the time. I feel like she's just a big teddy bear. And that's often the case with bigger, larger characters or just very much on the softer side. I think I'm, I think I'm simping a little bit, but <laughs> let's get to what would be the negative aspects of being with Zarya. Zarya has been through it all. She's been at the front lines, which makes her a bit more emotionally guarded or perhaps even afraid to lose those that she loves. You know what I mean? Which would make her a tad overprotective. She would be bubbling you with her big gun all the damn time. She also has very high expectations of herself. Her success in this field stems from extremely high discipline and a really headstrong personality. And people who are headstrong tend to be a bit more stubborn. I'm projecting a little bit. And we tend to be a bit more uncompromising. So do I think she would be good? Yes, but no relationship is perfect. Zarya goes on A protective wife she would take care of you and that's all i have to say brigitta brigitta is annoying as fuck i mean her players are on a whole other level of assholeness i said what i said and i stand by it mother but let's talk about her because she's the important one here she's just hopeful she's inventive she's smart she takes after her daddy and she's straight up i don't think she would sugarcoat things for you brigitte's all about having your back she's the type to look out for you make sure you're doing okay help you out whenever you need it she's also a medic so she's nice she's ride or die if she's with you she's with you you'll never have to worry about trust but but she's just always looking out for others and sometimes that might be at the cost of her own well-being. I think her papa and Ryan might be a little overprotective of her, but not gonna lie, I'd let her whip me all day long. So would she be a good girlfriend? Yeah. Brigitta goes on A, protective, sweet, soft, caring. What else could you want? May. May is just all warm. She's just all softness and cuddliness, and it's so apparent to see in every interaction that she has. I mean, this one's just top tier boys. She's emotionally vulnerable. She strives to make the world a better place. She's a shy woo girl working in the STEM field. Like what, what else do you want? She's shy and might prefer quiet, intimate settings over large social events, which could clash if you're a more extroverted person. And you have to take that into account. And also due to her working abroad and overseas constantly, it may be hard to keep a more serious relationship. I mean, those science expeditions take forever. So if you're looking for a companionship that's a bit more stable, and a bit more physical, you know, with her being around you at all times, I don't think that would be possible. So there's lots of things to consider that could be roadblocks, but there's also a lot of workarounds too. I mean, if you wanna zoom your way into a comfortable dating lifestyle, cool, but that's also not a really good fit for a lot of people that are looking for a serious long-term relationship. And yeah, also she will fuck cook for you. She offered to cook for Juno, so best girl. May just goes at the tail end of this because she's a bit more shy and a bit less adaptable to your lifestyle. You know, Tracer. Tracer kind of annoys me a little bit sometimes, not gonna lie, but I think she'd be a good partner. Tracer would be so fun to be with. She is just a fun, sunny girl. And I think that in her personality, there's a lot of space for love and care and affection. And that is present in her interactions with her other teammates and the friends that she has made. All those relationships that she's built over years. Like she is still very much a loving, caring individual, no matter how much she's gone through. I think it is good to mention that she is in a relationship already with Emily and it seems to be healthy and it seems to be thriving. So I think that Tracer would just be such a nice girl to be with. Overall, she'd be a great catch. Tracer goes 
in front of May. Not because there's anything wrong with her at all. I just, I just, I just feel it in my heart. Like this one's a little more extroverted. This one's a little more adaptable, a bit more flexible for you. She could do it. Mercy. Angela Ziegler is a catch. I mean, what can I say? She's just like the safest option. She is literally the chocolate chip cookie. She is creative, loving, and dare I say, only? I mean, she feels like home. She looks like home and she probably smells like home too. She looks like she smells like a Bath and Body Works candle. Like one of the really warm vanilla ones for the fall. Like, I don't I don't know. That's just what she, she exudes. She comes from a family of doctors. So the care for others is ingrained to her system. She's a sweet woman. I mean, she is the angel sent from heaven. Just like the pick of the batch, perfect MILF that you would find. And I'm not hating on her. I just think she's a little bit more vanilla in terms of her character. It's just vanilla and vanilla is safe and it's good and delicious and it's something that you can always go back to. But you know, I mean, she's just perfect, right? So would she be a good girlfriend? Yeah, definitely so. So I think Mercy goes on S, definitely. Like, what did you expect? She's just good. Sombra. Sombra is just your chaos lady. She'd be so fun to date, not gonna lie. If you don't mind the law breaking, that is. Her personality is just mwah, amazing. And by the way, shout out to my Mexican hermana, my girl. Her personality is just fun. She would just be fun to be around and hang around and have conversations with late at night. I think she'd make you laugh. I think she'd show you some weird underground dark web stuff that'll make you reconsider all of your life choices and traumatize you forever. But I think it would be fulfilling. I think she would... I think she would show you cake farts. Don't look up cake farts. Although I don't think that with her life at Talon, it would be easy to date her since they're always on missions and always doing things and always breaking the law and making things go boom. But I know if you don't care in making things go boom, Sombra shines in making you have a good time and shooting the shit with you. Do I think she's girl for material? Yes. I think that if you're on her side, then 100% she's your girl. But if you're not, then... You're out, boy. You're out. These Latinas with the high standards, we are... We are different. We're built different. Sombra goes in front of Mercy. You might be like, ah, but she's kind of evil. Yes, but she would be the most fun out of all of these girls to be with. Sombra for sure. I stand by this choice. I stand by this opinion. She is just great. She would be so fun. So fun to be with. Kiriko. Kiriko is... I'm swooning. I'm swooning. I swoon every time. She is the literal best. She is the most coolest, most kindest, most perfect girl in the world. She's attentive. She's sweet. She's sensitive. She's good with kids. She's family oriented. She has a blend of traditional values and a strong need to protect those around her, a strong sense of duty to her community and her spiritual beliefs. Oh, she's just like perfect. I think that there could be times though when she prioritizes her responsibilities over the relationship, which could lead to feelings of neglect or frustration. But you know, that's all relationships. I see all pros with her. I think she's like top tier. Honestly, no cons. Did you see her short? It was the cutest thing on the planet, literally. Learn sign language for a little for a little mute girl. It was, it was so fucking good. She is marriage material. She's a bit younger, so I don't think she'd be interested in that. But Kiriko is perfect. And finally, we have Kiriko. She's not your out of the box cookie cutter perfect girl. She's got her quirks. She's sweet. She's kind. It was just such a hard top pick here. But Kiriko seems like the most dynamic out of all of them. Like she's independent, hardworking, and perfect. Like she's just perfect. Her short convinces me that she is the most perfect, most beautiful girl. So yeah, I think I think this is the final list. Let me know if you disagree, if you agree. Outro, outro, out. I have nothing to say. But thank you so much for 5,000 subs, it's been insane. It's been an insane ride. So that was all the Overwatch girlies. Did I sound like a degenerate? I feel like I sounded like a fucking degenerate. Uh, there was a couple of moments in there where I definitely sounded like a degenerate, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm also on Twitch. I don't know why I'm coughing. Hold on. <clears throat> so thank you so much for watching and for being here and staying till the end of the video, you get a cookie. There you go. It's your favorite kind of cookie. It's Coomer cookie. It's the co it, it's the Coomer cookie. It's an it's an award. Actually, you know, this is the Degenerate Coomer Award. Just for you. Congrats. You're a winner. You're the winner. Congratulations. So thank you so much for watching. I'm also on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday if you wanna see me be a degenerate but live. So go check me out and thank you so much. 
Have an amazing rest of your day.